Well, today in Roanoke County, a peaceful protest was held at Glen Clove Elementary School in support of LGBTQI plus educators who are facing scrutiny from some Roanoke County parents. WFXR's Anna McDougal was at the protest today. She talked with the people that were in attendance about how they're feeling. She joins us live from Glen Clove Elementary School. Anna, what are they saying tonight? Drew, good evening. Well, this protest comes after four parents went in front of the school board last week saying that some Glen Cove el educators were indoctrinating LGBTQIA topics on elementary school students. Those in attendance today say this backlash comes from a place of hate. In my child's school, in some of your child's school, the hate and the lack of support for, for what? People that love one another? Samantha Kristen organized today's event and has a daughter at Glen Cove Elementary. She was joined by several other parents who say they support the teachers under scrutiny. It was pretty hurtful to hear uh, against people that, that we've known as educators for our children, uh, that we've known to be very supportive uh, to all of the kids in the school uh, to be attacked in such a way. Local lawmakers are also taking a stand. Roanoke City Council members Luke Pretty and Joe Cobb were both there today. Pretty is a former student of Roanoke County Public Schools and says the community needs to step in. To stand in solidarity with the teachers um, who were um, defamed, frankly, at a recent school board meeting by being called inappropriate names like pedophiles and groomers just for displaying um, affirming material in their classroom like rainbows uh, or other things that are supportive of the LGBT community. However, not everyone in attendance was in support of this demonstration. Sue Wirtz is one community member who says elementary school aged children are too young to be exposed to LGBTQ topics. I feel that um, they are at a very tender age and they and their little minds are so vulnerable to uh, things that they're just not ready for. Wirtz adds that while she does not agree with the harsh language used against teachers at the school board meeting, she does say parents should be vigilant about what their kids are being exposed to. Councilman Pretty says children need to know that they're accepted. People don't decide where they're born. Children don't decide where they go to school. They need to know that there is someone that loves and accepts them wherever they attend. Now, Roanoke County Public Schools released a statement this afternoon saying that while they can't comment on specifics of this situation, their main focus is a student's well-being and learning, adding that school should be a safe place for all students. Reporting live in Roanoke County, Anna McDougal, WFXR News. All right, Anna, thank you. Now, the next Roanoke County School Board meeting is coming up on June 15th.